Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. It has certainly been a while since I made my last video. I'm going to go ahead and spare us all the excuses and just say that I am definitely going to try and be more consistent in uploading. I love watching reseller videos and so I want to add what I can to the reseller community. Um, so for those of you that don't know me, I am Maddie. I am a part-time reseller on the Poshmark app and I am slowly venturing into the world of eBay. I am also a full-time kindergarten teacher and recently I am now a full-time grad student. So I am certainly busy, but I'm still reselling as much as I can. So let's go ahead and get into this video. This is a 50% off President's Day sale. I went to two different Texas thrift stores. I am located in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So on 50% off day sales, I am certainly not as selective. I will pick up items that I think will sell at a lower price point if I think that they will uh, flip quickly. I think it's important to have those bread and butter items in your store as well as those like nicer, higher priced items just because it gives variety and people can bundle. So like I will tell you if I would have picked this up full price or if I really would have picked this up just because of it's 50% off. So let's start with shoes. I only got four pairs of shoes. I'm just going to show you one from each pair. I promise I have a matching shoe. It's just when I was grabbing things I was like I'm sure they'll understand if I just get one shoe. So I'm going to start with this pair of Nikes. These are the Nike Training Flex Supreme TR3. It'll normally tell you on the tongue what style they are. And they are pink with this like camo swoosh and some more camo on the back here. They're in pretty good condition. They don't look too worn. I normally would not be picking up Nikes. It's just an oversaturated market, especially not brand new. So I'm only expecting about $25, $30 at the most for these. But the reason why I picked them up is because they were a really nice colorway. They were in good used condition. And we're coming up on the springtime and people are more willing to go running in the nicer weather. And they're always looking for running shoes. Another pair of Nikes, this is the Nike Zoom Pegasus 32 pair. Um, the other ones I think were in an 8.5 and, and these are a 9. They kind of look like a fly knit. They're again a really nice colorway. And the bottoms again don't have too much wear. So again, $25, $30 at the most. Another pair of shoes that I picked up, these are Madden Girl. I believe these are called the Army Shoe. They're kind of like a low combat boot. They're in really good used condition. Um, Madden Girl does not sell as well as Steve Madden. It's like his lower end brand, more for, geared towards teens. But I thought they were really good condition, really good style. They are size eight and a half. So again, I'm probably expecting about 15 to $25 on these. And the last pair of shoes that I got, I have both pairs for this one. It is a pair of Jack Rogers. So these are the like jelly material sandals. Um, Jack Rogers is kind of known for doing this type of embroidery detail right there on their sandals. They're very casual sandals. These are in a size 8. They're in really good condition. I'm only expecting about $25. The nicer Jack Rogers that aren't like that jelly material, they do sell for a little bit more. But these are definitely for like a southern girl who's looking for a casual shoe. All right, let's move on to clothes. I'm sorry that they are in plastic bags. I normally try and bring a bag with me. I just did not this time, but I can guarantee I always reuse those plastic bags. So moving on to clothes in no particular order. Um, let's see. Let's all here. So. So first we have an HD in Paris, which is Anthropology. This is a size zero petite, which will probably be a tough size to sell, but I thought this was just so precious. It is a lace kind of teal colored top and it's got the little peplum zipper all the way down the back. Really precious, worst comes to it, I might keep it. Um, but I really like that piece, like $20, $25. Again, another bread and butter piece. This one is We The Free, size small. It is just a plaid shirt. Here is the back. 
So $20, $25. This is like not a brand that I even know. But like I said, on these 50% off days, I'm more willing to pick up pieces that don't really have brand recognition. This is called Fifth Culture. It's a size small. It really reminded me of like a free people dress with the lace and then the embroidery. I think it's very, very pretty. Um, I would guess this is just like a little boutique -y brand. If you hear any scratching, it is my cat trying to get in. But I really don't want him around because I don't want his hair getting on all of the clothes. This is the Nike Trifold label. This is in a size small. And it is just a graphic tee, probably about $15 to $20 on this. The back is just plain. Normally I only pick up Adidas if it has that trifold on it, and I don't really expect too much. Alright, something I have been doing recently is trying to dabble in kids wear. I don't really know a lot about kids, but I enjoy kids clothing more than I enjoy men's. Um, so I only know about three brands that I always pick up in kids, which would be Crew Cuts, which is J. Crew's line, Janie and Jack, which I believe is um, Kate Spade's line. I might be wrong about that. And then the, um, Mini Bowden. And of course, sometimes I will pick up a vintage piece. So this is Crew Cuts. The two dots mean that it's Crew Cuts Factory. It's a size 8, but it's this really cute little vest. Love the pink lining there. And I'm expecting about $15 to $25 on this. Next is a brand that retails for a whole lot, but does not resell for a lot. And it is Haute Hippie. This is a size small. I believe this top is like 100% silk. It's really beautiful red color. It's got a cold shoulder sleeve. And then you can see it goes back into a long sleeve. So it's really beautiful. It's got that tie detail in the back there. Um, I'm honestly not expecting it to move very quickly or for very much because even though it retails for a lot, the resale value on Haute Hippie is just not very good. Um, I got this top. I'm experimenting more with Athleta or Athleta, however you want to say it. But I got this top because it reminded me of a Lululemon seamless top that I own actually. It's really pretty um, baby pink color. You know I need to steam it, get all those wrinkles out, but it's just a nice seamless top. This is in a size medium, long sleeve. Um, this is another brand that I do not pick up. This is a boutique brand. I don't typically pick it up, but I thought this dress was pretty. It's Entro, size small. And I loved this. It again kind of reminded me of like For Love and Lemons or Free People. It's this dark wine red color and then the flowers on it are like textured, velvety textured. Here's the back. And then the super boho bell sleeves. So probably 15 to 20. So like I said, this haul is really bread and butter. Um, next, we have an anthropology piece. I've actually sold this piece before. It is Holding Horses, size 6. It's this really cute little gingham top, brown and white. Love this with like a dark pair of jeans and riding boots in the fall. Or even you could wear it in the spring, you know, lighten it up with like a nice pink jacket or something. Um, next is a Patagonia women's shirt. It's Patagonia size 4. If it's Patagonia, I typically pick it up no matter what it is. But it's just like a nice little button up top. It's got this like blue, I don't know if that would be flower detail. But pretty basic there, probably 25 to 15 again. There are some higher price items in here, they're just few and far between. Alright, this is a brand that I never pick up just because it does not retail for a lot of money, but this was just so beautiful I couldn't leave it behind. It is Old Navy, it is a petite small, and it is this beautiful teddy coat. The color is really like what stole my heart. It is this dusty pink color, uh, so soft and great condition. So I priced it at about $30. I think that's really reasonable. If it was a better brand, I would price it for so much more because this is just such a lovely coat. But Old Navy normally has a lot of sales, so I can't imagine that that sold for that much originally. 
All right, to J. Crew. I normally will pick up the blazers even if they have this old tag. This is a very old J. Crew tag. I think this is like two or three tags ago. This is a size medium and it is a blazer. And the reason why I really wanted to pick it up is just the color again. This beautiful pinky red color and then it's velvet. So even though it is that older tag, it's just making that judgment call of is this still going to be in style? I'm expecting about $25 to $35 on that. Um, next is a brand that I really only pick up if it's plus size and new with tags. And this is a fast fashion brand. It is Fashion Nova, brand new with tag. And it is size 1XL. It is this very funky rainbow, goodness, it's all twisted, rainbow jumpsuit. So you can see here the pants. So this is definitely going to take a bold girl to wear it, but I know the right buyer will come along and get it. And jumpsuits are something that I always pick up typically because people will pay up for jumpsuits because I think they're still kind of uncommon. This is an anthropology piece. This is Angel of the North. They're known kind of for their knitwear. This is a size extra small. And it's just a gray sweater. It's got this kind of like cow neck. So very cute, good basic to have. I know we're coming out of sweater season, but I'm a gear round shopper. I will buy sweaters in the summer. This is another anthropology piece. This is anthropology meadow rue, size small. And I thought this was really lovely. It is see-through. You will have to wear something underneath, but it's just this floral um, color not this floral color, this floral pattern, and it's black and white. So I really like that. Then I'm getting more selective with what Harley I pick up. Probably wouldn't pick up the tanks anymore, but um, I would pick up like a jacket or something. This is Harley Davidson, size large. It is just a tank top with all of this studded detail and this like kind of sherbety color. And on the back it says where it's from, and it's from Denton County. This is an intimately free people top. The stock photo does it way more justice than I did in my photos. This is a, here's what this tag looks like. It's a size medium and it's just an orange um, tank top and it's got the little lace peeking out. So normally the intimately free people line can be worn either under stuff or by themselves but it always has kind of a lingerie look to it. Alright, I typically don't pick up this brand unless I just think it's really fun and cute. This is a surfer brand. It is Billabong. I'm trying to find the front of it here. I'm getting lost in it. Here it is, Billabong. And this is a size medium and I love this. It is just so much fun. It is a rainbow cardigan. And then it's kind of a waterfall style, and at the end it's got all of these tassels. So I thought this was just super, super fun, and I think someone will really like that. Probably 25 at the most. Alright, next is one of those pieces that will get priced up a little bit. Um, and it is such a fun piece. I have already gotten a lowball offer on this, and I have already declined it. It is Zara Basic Outer Wear Size Extra Small. And it is this giant um, fuzzy coat. It is super, super soft. It has a hood on it, um, button-up style. I love this, tan, no flaws at all. So I love these style of coats. I'm pretty sure teddy coats are still in. I don't think they're as popular as they used to be, but this is a really well-made um, jacket. And so $25 just isn't gonna do it on that one. I think I've started it at 50 something. Hoping to get around there. Um, next is a pair of rag and bone jeans, size 25. These are the high rise skinny. But actually when I measured the rise, I think they were only like eight and a half. So to me that is really not high rise. They are in this fun red color. They do have one little flaw and it is a hole down here. It's kind of by the knee. If you guys can see that. But otherwise, they're in great condition. There's no drag at the bottom or anything. Here is the rag and bone on the butt. 
So I'm hoping to get maybe $25 to $40, kind of that range. Um, rag and bone jeans, they can do really well, but that's not really a desired color. I, I think colored skinny jeans are kind of on the out, and then also with the hole near the knee, and that might decrease the value. All right, here is a piece from Anthropology that I probably would have picked up even full price, and it is Anthropology Sparrow, size small. It is this kind of vintage inspired um, cardigan. It's really, really cute. It's got that polka dot trim on the collar and then also on the back, really cute. And the cardigans from Anthropology, I normally will pick up cardigans and jackets, and I believe this is a wool blend, so good material. Um, I just thought this was too cute. I couldn't leave it behind. It is just Ann Taylor Loft, size medium, and it's a cable knit sweater. It's color blocked. I don't know. I would not pick this up full price. I don't expect a high payout there. It's just thought it was cute. We'll see what happens. Alright, so this piece is already sold, and I've sold this dress in a different colorway, I think two times before. It's a Tommy Bahama size large, and I don't pick up a lot of Tommy Bahama, except for this style of dress, and definitely just on a half off day. And it is just a striped maxi dress, perfect to wear on vacation, or just when you're running errands in the summer. And um, the I had it priced at 25 The buyer sent me an offer for 10 and I sent her a private message through Bundle. And I was like, hey, I really would like to get 15 Would you be willing to go for 15 And she was really sweet and said yes. So this is already sold for $15. Again, I would really only pick it up if you're finding it at a lower price point. All right, another boutique brand, and I literally only pick up the jackets and the kimonos in this style, normally just if they're priced very low, and it's Umji, size small, and it is this embroidered red kimono. And it has tassels on the bottom, so Coachella and festival season is coming up. So this with a pair of jean shorts, and some combat boots and a little bralette would be perfect. So I'm expecting about $15 to $25. Then we have this Anther, no, this is a Free People top. It's very bohemian. It is a size small. The Free People little tag is coming off, but that really doesn't affect the value. It is a bubble hem there down there at the bottom. It's super, super bohemian. Lovely paisley and floral pattern. This with a pair of like bell bottom jeans I think would just look great. There it is. So again, about $15 to $25. All right. Now we have another anthropology piece. As you can see, I found a lot of anthropology pieces, which I am getting more selective about my anthropology pieces that I do pick up, especially when it's full price. Um, I typically try and pick up just the more unique pieces. So this is moth size small and I believe this is like uh, an alpaca wool blend. Um, it is just this cow neck sweater. Really this might be, yeah this is cow neck not turtle neck. It's stripes and then the sleeves are actually sheer and it is so so soft. So very very cute. Good basic. Then I've never tried this brand out before, but I've heard good things. This is Young, Fabulous, and Broke. It is a size medium, I believe. I think it's a size medium, yes, yeah, size medium, and it's they're known for like their tie-dye, so this is just a tie-dye blouse. I kind of looked up comps, they were all over the place. So I started it at 30 and we'll see how it does. I love tie-dye personally, so I think it's a lot of fun. Just a few more pieces here. This is another Anthropology piece. I normally don't pick up this Anthropology brand, but I thought this was really cute. It is Postmark size 4, and I thought this was great for the season that we're coming up in because the color is just so fun. It's super strappy. It is a yellow, bright neon yellow, as you guys can see, um, eyelet tank top with all of this strappy detail. And then the back has the little bows. So again, I keep feel like I keep repeating myself. $15 to $25. The expected outcome there. And then this is the last piece. 
This is a brand that I only pick up in special occasions. It is an Urban Outfitters brand. It is Ecote size large and I only pick this up because again it is a jumpsuit and like I was saying earlier jumpsuits really tend to do well especially size large so it's got all of this um, embroidered detail it's very bohemian it's got the beads right here and then these long um, pants a wide leg and fortunately I was able to find that stock photo on it because my pictures again did not really do it justice zipper back closure so I started this at $30. It's also stretchy as well, which is good to note. All right, that is everything that I got in my President's Day haul. I'm going to go ahead and link my Poshmark closet down below in the description box. If you guys are also Poshmark or eBay resellers, please let me know and I will go and follow your closet and share a few things. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.